So finding an equation, finding equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines. So what's true about these two specific types of lines, parallel lines have the same slope. They increase or decrease at the same rate. And then perpendicular lines, mm, perpendicular They have, if we think about what perpendicular means, let's say one is like this, the other one intersects making 90 degree angle. So if we look at like the first one I drew, this one's decreasing, the other one would be increasing. So the slopes are opposite. And also it is the reciprocals. So perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. So an example of this, before we do a full example, if the first slope is one half, then the second slope of the perpendicular line would be a negative two. Or if I have slope one is negative five thirds, then the perpendicular line would have a slope of a positive three fifths. Okay, so let's first say that we want to find the equation of a line, find an equation of a line parallel to 3x plus y equals 5 and through negative 1, 2. Okay, so we'll want to use point slope, the point slope formula, y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. Um, but before that, I need to figure out what my slope is. So if I have, I'm looking for an equation parallel to 3x plus y equals 5, first I have to figure out the slope based on this. So I'm going to get y alone. So this line is y equals negative 3x plus 5. So this slope, the slope of this line is negative 3. So since we're doing a parallel line, that slope is also negative three. So we'll use that little slope of the first line as negative three. Parallel line is gonna have the same slope. Okay, so now I can use my y minus y1 equals mx minus x1 because I know the slope of the line I'm trying to find and I know a point that goes through it. So y minus y1 is two slope is negative three, x minus negative one. So y minus two equals negative three x minus negative one is going to turn to plus, negative three times a positive one is gonna be a minus three. And then add two, add two. So y equals negative three x minus one. Now this one too, you can kind of sketch them each out, double check that it makes sense that you get a y-intercept of about negative one. Um, so it's a good idea to do that uh, if you have the time to do so. Um, <coughs> let's do a perpendicular one. Let's find the equation of the line. Find the equation of a line perpendicular to y equals 2x minus 5 and through negative 1, 3. Okay, so this one, <coughs> the line that's perpendicular is already in slope-intercept form. So the slope of this line is 2. So if we're doing the slope of the line perpendicular, then that means that slope is going to be, instead of positive 2, it's going to be a negative, and then I'm, when I f take the reciprocal, flip it, it's going to be 1 half. So instead of 2 over 1, 1 over 2. Okay, so now I can use my point slope formula. y minus, so 
and I'm going up to the point that I know goes through the equation. x1, y1, y minus 3 equals a negative 1 half, x minus negative 1. So y minus 3 equals negative 1 half x minus a negative is going to turn to positive 1 times negative 1 half is going to be a minus 1 half. Add 3 to both sides to get my y alone, so it's in slope-intercept form, and I get negative 1 half x. So a minus half and a plus 3, that'll be a plus 2 and a half. Or you can change um, this, you know, change 3 to be improper common denominator. Um, but if we just kind of think about it, a negative 1 half and a positive 3, or 3 minus a half will be 2 and a half, which is easier to look at on a graph.